start out of your cups and saucers. What are you going to do with your teapot? We'll get the answer from the author of Cooking with Green Tea, Ying Chang Compostine. Hey, welcome to Home Matters. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So tell me, first of all, for anybody who doesn't know what green tea is, tell me what the difference between black tea, which we traditionally have in the tea bags that we buy in the grocery store, and green tea. Well, they're all from the same plant. And the the main difference is the green tea is not fermented and the black tea is fully fermented. And how much green tea should one drink per day for all the health benefits that it offers? Well, the research show you need to have four cups of green tea a day oh to get gosh. all the full benefit, which is, you know, in today's life, everybody's so busy and we don't have time to drink four cups of tea. And I've grown up in China and I ate a lot of dishes made with green tea, so I decided, well, I can write a book about cooking with green tea and show the American yeah. audience how you can incorporate green tea in your diet. Without having to drink it. And this is one of the dishes. This is just one of the one, many in the dish in yes. the book that we're going to make today. Tell me the name of this recipe. This is an uh, emperor's shrimp. Mm. And, uh, Which shrimp. emperor? Ying? Or is it, there's some dynasty of... Uh... Well, we have many uh, emperors. So okay. <laughs> yeah. I think they all like the green tea. Yeah. Okay, good. So, all right. Okay. First... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... So, you know. <laughs> let's start. And I have some tea leaves infused already. And so um, that makes them kind of... Um, they can... See, this is uh, before they were... Yeah, so this like is called... Well, tell me the name of this. This again. is a gum powder. Gum, gum powder tea. And that's because it's all kind of pellety. It's yeah, it looks like up. a little bullet. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, I'm going to just mince some uh, tea leaves. And this almost looks like spinach when it's reconstituted yes. with hot water. Think, when you brew green tea, think about it like you're uh, handling the very fragile vegetables. So you don't want to brew them for a very long time and high temperature. Like two minutes? Uh, about three minutes. Okay. You know, three to four minutes. But when for cooking, sometimes I do about... Uh, you know, five minutes. Right. Here we have some tea already. Now let's talk just a little bit about the tea kettle. Um, you have, a, you're very opinionated about what you should boil water in or yeah. serve tea. You in. know, in, traditionally in China, you use the Yixing teapot, which is this teapot. You can buy it at a lot of a special uh, store. And, Why is uh, it so good? Because it's made with a special clay from the southeast China, and oh. they bring out the best flavor of tea. But at home, when you don't have it, you can use, uh, you know, a uh, stainless steel porcelain. Or porcelain. And you need to rinse it out with a hot water and pour it out. Yeah, yeah. You always warm up your, you know, warm up your cup uh -huh. before you are. Here, shall Ooh. we, I'm going to make a sesame. Strong. Yeah. It's good. Good, it good? Yes. Should we make the sesame sauce? The sesame sauce, please. Okay. And here's some already infused tea leaves and minced it. And this is some uh, teriyaki sauce. Okay. And the green onion. Green onion. Mm. And lemon juice. I think the audience likes this. They, they were already, yeah. I, I wish they could smell it. it smells and so there's some uh, fresh chili pepper. Yum, that'll give it some heat, which is and good. And the minced garlic. Yes. And we have some toasted sesame seeds. Does the tea actually give it flavor, or is that just the property? It's just an excuse to actually, get the, the health benefits. Actually, the tea gives out very nice, very nice uh, flavor, and it really gives your food a very unique Fresh no, I'm taste. assuming that was sesame oil. Sesame oil. oil. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, we have some, uh, yeah, the nice. sauce. Nice. And I have some cornstarch. And that's just to kind of thicken, right? Thicken, yeah, the sauce. Cornstarch is in a lot of, not just green tea cooking, but in a lot of Chinese cooking. Yeah, we Chinese use a lot, yeah, in uh, cornstarch. Yeah. And now we're going to marinate. Now, how long would you marinate with shrimp? Does it take a long time to marinate shrimp? Yeah, you know, this one, you know, this recipe, I say ideally at least for half an hour. If you have time a little longer, would be better. But always cover it and refrigerate it. Tell me how long, well, I'm going to put this, there's one that we've got in the refrigerator. Tell me how long you've been drinking tea. Oh, since I was three years old. Really? And I always, uh, yeah, and, you know, drink tea from my father's cup. And that's just a... So it's not something like in this country when people start drinking coffee, they have to be like driving age almost to start yeah. drinking coffee. Okay, now this one's been marinated yep. now. It's, it's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... All but, right, now, okay. the kind of, you, you're again using sesame oil or just a lot? This is oil? A, just a, a cooking oil. Okay. And I'm going to use, I have some gum powder. Tea. Tea. And we use this as a seasoning. Gunpowder green tea. Gunpowder green tea. Yeah. We're not just putting gunpowder gun in powder. No. Oh. Yeah, we wanted to create a little excitement. So, can you smell Forget the... Get that drill on the glass. Can okay. you smell the fragrance? Mmm. So, it it's really interesting, and too. And it's going to be unfold. It's just, it's like a magic. It kind See, of unfolds in there. Yeah. 
Let's see when the oil gets heated up. And I love it that you're using all these colorful, wonderful vegetables. So we put yeah. those in first or the shrimp no, first? No, we do the shrimp first. Shall we? And a uh, little bit too much sauce in this one. That's, That's maybe all right. Fish. We can probably be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be oh, Okay. And the shrimp. We like noisy food here. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> and the shrimp cook really fast. Now do I put the vegetables in? Uh, let's just wait a couple mm, minutes. Now do I put them in? <laughs> Almost. Tell me some other properties, just briefly. Some, I know that you literally wrote a book on the properties of green tea, but just tell me some of the, the proven properties. Yeah, you know, Chinese, in, in, in my book, there's one section I talk about other use of green other tea. Other uses, yes. You know, we use for beauty purpose. Like I rinse my hair with very strong green tea. green tea, make it shine and look nice. And also, uh, uh, cold green tea help with sunburn, and the warm green tea help treat the pimples and the rashes. Does it? Does it? Would it help Chris in any way, shape, or form? <laughs> uh, so that's added vegetable. But it also has like it has like you can lose weight drinking green yes, tea. Yes, and also in my book I have a three-day green tea diet program help tense your body and also help uh, you know weight loss pr promote the weight loss. Is there anything green tea can't do? Well. Housework probably can't do that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> it can clean you inside, but maybe you can't clean yeah. the tub with but it. But you do yeah. feel very good. After you get used to it, see, this is some um, toasted nuts, mm. and uh, we're going to add that in. Again, you, you know, at home, you don't just limit to shrimp. You can use chicken or vegetarian. You can use tofu. Ooh, that I would be good. I cook a lot. Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of that. I love You're, tofu. And also, the sauce I, I like to make then at the weekend, I make it, I have like a whole section with sauce. You make like three or four sauce at the weekend and you refrigerate it. They will last up to a week and make your weeknight cooking very easy. Yeah, and once you get that sauce going, you can add, like you say, chicken, tofu, whatever. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I, I want to ask Chris. Chris is out in the audience. Chris, you have somebody that I know you want to taste it, but you have somebody else that might want to taste Because I need those green tea, tea properties. Now, who would like to taste? Who here would like to taste? Pick a good who one, would like Chris. To, come on, man. Let's go. No, no, him. Come on, dude. Come on, let's go. So, where are you from? Iowa. What's your name? Keith. Keith from Iowa. Keith, that's what a lovely beer. What city in beer. Iowa are you from? A little bird called Grundy Center. Oh, See, people Grundy are going to be Center. glad that you said that Grundy Center. I know that town. Do you use chopsticks? Do they use them there? Not in Grundy Center. A little, but I'm Can not very good at it. Can I have a fork here? Yeah, fork. Yeah, we have a fork. All right. <laughs> that would be better. <laughs> okay. Just go for it. Go for it. All right. Yeah. Now get a little oh. bit of shrimp in there. Oh, Keith. excellent, excellent. Okay. Honest reaction, Keith. Think about it. Say use it. over it. This is very good. Ah. Very good. Now, if everybody in the audience is getting hungry for think and thinking about cooking with green tea, we've got the recipe and a green tea bag from MightyLeaf.com underneath your seats. Yes. So you can uh, get started once you get home. Yeah. Thank you so much. Beautiful stuff. Here. It was great having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Stay right here. Don't go away because Home Matters will be right back. Thanks, man. Good job. A hammer, a drill, and a saw. They're all basic tools, but there's some real basic safety tips you know before you start. And we get those from Harvey the Handyman. Me too. <laughs> is when I'm trying to hang a picture or something, mm -hmm. and I go whack, whack on my finger with the hammer. That I never, hate it when that happens. You know